All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to add badges to your game. I'm gonna add two badges to this game. This game is just a blank game that is called badges, right? So save off your game first if you're gonna do it this way because you'll be able to follow along. Mine's called badges. I'm gonna add one for when you first join. It's gonna be the particip participation award. And then we'll do another one for say finding that part right there, right? Make it nice and easy for the example. Let's go ahead and go to our website, right? Web browser. I'm at my Roblox home, go to create. There's my badges right there. Uh, you could do it this way, or you can go to this little wheel thing, this little cog, and then you have a create badge there. Then your game is already selected, right? So target experience badges, Let's choose a file. This is just getting an image off your computer. I use that reticle right there. It's not really lined up, but we'll preview. Awesome. Let's go ahead and purchase the badge for 100 Robux. Unfortunately, it does cost money. And I don't want this called reticle. I want to call it something else. So I'll hit that cog, hit configure. And then I think I have what? Ooh, participation. Let's not call it participation award. Let's call it participation. Because when you're presented with a badge, it actually adds on award. So you don't want participation award award, just participation. Cool beans. Let's go save it. Hit save. And I have one badge. All right, so we add another badge. Well, yeah, let's do that now. Let's just go ahead and create a second badge. Badges, hit the cog, create badge. What are we gonna call this? It's gonna be like the founded award. And I don't really have any good images. So I'm gonna do the cow cannon image because I like my cow cannon, right? And we'll call that like found it, found it. There we go. Preview. Purchase for 100 Robux. Booyah, we got two. All right, now let's go to our game. And let's go ahead and add, we're gonna add a module script to the server script service. And we're gonna call the badge code from other scripts. So we're gonna use a module code. So hit that plus sign on server script service, hit that plus sign, add a module script. I'm going to call this utils, all right? And then instead of module, I'm going to call that utils. This name must be the same as that name. Cool. And let's go ahead and get, uh, we need our, our, B, our badge service. So we have B service. And then what is that game? Get service badge service. All right. Now let's go ahead and make a function that we can call from another script. So we're not going to use local. We're going to say function. And then I'm going to use this name right here. Put that right there and then do a colon and I'll make that award badge. Right. And you're going to see how when we call this from another script, we're going to use that whole name and that way it knows to use the award badge from the utils, the utils module script. So let's go ahead and pass in a player and then pass in the badge ID, right? Oh, you know what? We don't have, we'll get the badge IDs in a little bit. That's all right. Uh, let's go ahead and do a, a Boolean variable for has badge. We're only going to award the badge one time, all right? So has badge is false. We're going to do a P call, which returns a success. And if there's a failure, it will return the message. So P calls are protected calls. We're going to do an HTTP call. I know I'm usually lazy with this, but it was in the documentation. So I just added it. So we'll go ahead and do that P call here just to be safe. We'll say has badge. So we're going to get a variable back when we do the P the B service, I say P, but B service, user has badge async, it checks when we pass a player's user ID in and the badge ID in, all right? So if there was success, we can do stuff, right? If success, then, let's not do that, let's do, if not success, just leave. If not success, ooh, we'll give them a warning. 
we'll say warn something went wrong oh my gosh wrong with the call to the badge service and we can check what that message was it'll give us some information what went wrong maybe we forgot to send the id or something then we'll just return we'll just get out of the function it failed oh well and then we'll say if not has badge right then we're going to award it so if we got down here the p call was successful now we'll go ahead and we'll say b service award badge player user id and then we have our badge id cool and then should we do a printout if he already has a badge yeah let's go ahead let's just say else whoops enter print player already has badge already has the badge all right cool now we'll call this from wherever we want to award a badge awesome let's go to server script service again and we'll do another script this one is going to be called the game manager and in game managers a lot of time oh look at that i got that little that little slash there boom all right game managers often will have the code to check to see if the players are entering or leaving the game so we're going to need our participation award id participation uh, you know what let's just find it because i want to spell it the same participation right let's click on that we got this this is going to be our id cool my spelling's terrible so i get a little creative sometimes id and then we need the number for this right where do we get the number go back to that website ah uh, look at it it's right there right there don't get the slash oh my god there we go got it copy control v we got our participation award id awesome uh what else we got to do we want to get our module script that we called utils right we're going to require that that's what you do with module scripts and we have that in game dot server script service utils cool and let's go ahead and say game players player added connect function Ooh, when the player will get passed into that right whenever the player added is event is caught the player will get passed in and i want to see the badge get added so i'm not going to do a character added i want to do a character appearance loaded event and then connect that to this interior function character let's just wait a second although you have to be careful with this because it's not thread safe but i think we're going to be fine here i'm sure we're going to be fine here i'm sure one of you really really smart guys will find some instance some strange instance where it won't work but 99 percent of the time you're going to be fine all right and it's only awarded once so if they do it again you know they can get the award worst case scenario it's not like they lose all their data so what do we got uh, i got sidetracked um yeah wait a second and then we'll say utils award badge we're gonna pass in the player because we're going to use the player user id and then we're going to use our participation award which i am not even going to attempt to spell it i'm just going to go like that participation id cool beans now when we play we should get an award when we join the game that's gonna be great there it is look at that participation award Woo -hoo. can you see it pretty cool all right let's go ahead and and add the add the award for getting well add another badge for getting that brick right there that's gonna be cool let's go to part script and this is gonna be really easy because we have a module script to do all the heavy lifting now i just called that award and we need the id for this right so we'll have local i'll say found it id found it we'll just call it found it and then there's going to be an id right here we got to get that let's go back to our website let's go back to create i lost it uh 
If you go to Create Badge, you'll see your current badges. There we go. Found an award right there. I've got Cow Cannon in there. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is the number, right? Is this, this is the number, right, that I want. Yeah, 61, and this was a different number. Cool beans. Okay, I don't want to give my badge, badge out twice for two different things. Let's do this. Let's get our utils, right? So we're going to require our, mo our module script, game server script service, utils. So what else are we going to do? Uh, we need to part. We'll just call it brick. A server parent, right? Because the script is on the, on the part. And then we're going to do brick. Oh, that's break. Brick, touched, connect, attach it to this interior function here, this anonymous function. Other part is going to be what touched our brick, right? That's a touched event. Whatever touched it is going to come right here. And we're going to assume it's a foot or a hand, but we're going to do a check just in case. So we'll say local. Let's check to see if there's a player involved with that touch. We'll say game. Oops, there's my slash again. Game players colon get player from character. Other part, if it's a foot, the parent will be the character. If, it, if there's no character there, we can't find a character in the player service we will fail. So what we're going to do is we'll say if player then. We're only going to call it if we find a player. So we'll say utils, award badge, here's our player, and here's our founded ID. Awesome. Put that there. Uh, and then let's destroy the brick. And then we can respawn it periodically or something like that. Make it a challenge to find that awesome brick. There we go. It's good? It's good. Let's check to see if we get our second award. There's my brick. Booyah! Look at that. Found it. I got the founded award. Sweet. I got a lot of badges. All right. So hopefully you have good luck with this, and I will see you in the next video.